Western intelligence agencies hold the key to Vetrov's fate, the secrets he stole from the KGB. This was the most compromising thing for Vetrov. Only Vetrov and a few other people had access to this information. If the West acts on the farewell dossier, Vetrov's cover will be blown. It's a spying dilemma because a spy can know that the information he's providing is going to be used and uh, using the, the information is going to put him at risk. Vetrov learns that the West is expelling Soviet agents. His distress at the news waves a red flag. While he was in prison, suspicion slowly built up. The KGB knows, or at least strongly suspects, that he's been spying. As the pieces come together, the picture isn't pretty for Vetrov or the KGB. All of that intelligence, it's like having the plays in advance of the other team in a football game. You know what the quarterback's going to call, and you're able to block it. It really was important that we do everything we had to do. The crown jewels of the farewell dossier, line X. Vetrov, a former officer in the elite team, delivered hundreds of contacts, agents undercover in the West's high-tech labs. It became clear that it would be useful in the parlance of the intelligence community to roll up all of these agents. It's, an, it's a nifty way to express how you do it. You catch them all at once, and that's precisely what was done. Uh, this case in particular, for the KGB, it was like an earthquake. April 1983, the earthquake strikes. And we decided, let's get them. Let's just go get them and surprise. Big surprise. The tech spies have kept the Soviets close to the West in communications and computers. In labs and workshops across the globe, a manhunt wipes out the KGB network. There were approximately 200 Soviet intelligence officers from Line X who'd been stealing secrets and giving them to the KGB who were arrested. So 200 individuals involved in technological theft suddenly were out of play. With their names and, and practically their addresses supplied by Vietrov, it was pretty easy. It's a tremendous blow to the KGB and to the Soviet Union.